Welcome to another lecture. Looking at Gilula lines of the wrist. So what are, what are these Gilula lines and why are they important? Is very important to understand. Um, this is more important for people who are doing orthopedics and dealing with more of orthopedic stuff like orthopedic registrars. So there are three Gilula arcs or Gilula lines. So the first one is here. So that's the proximal. Uh, uh, Gilula lines. The first arc is a smooth curve outlining the proximal convexity of the scaphoid lunet and triquetral. And um, so that's that's your first arc. Okay. And the second one here is basically uh, towards the distal end of these uh, proximal row bones. So uh, that's your uh, second Gilula line. So um, it's basically the distal most part and before the second of the carpal bone start is where the uh, second uh, gilula line arc is and the third line is basically formed by this capitated and hamid just uh, next to the second uh, uh, gilula arc so that's that's the third gilula arc so uh, s these are the main ones to understand and uh, there should be no stop step offs in the contours and there's some variance that they're described but a disrupted arc basically uh, in indicates a ligamentous injury or fracture at the side of the broken arc is what you should remember